In this video, we are going to discuss about events and biological processes involved in drug delivery. Events and biological processes involved in drug delivery are first cellular uptake and processing, second transport across the epithelial barrier, third extravasation, fourth lymphatic uptake. Cellular uptake and processing on following administration or after administration, low molecular weight drugs enter or pass through cells by simple diffusion. Simple diffusion is the movement of molecules from a region of high concentration to low concentration. Hence, no energy is required for the drug molecule to cross the cell membrane. But in targeted drug delivery usually has macromolecule or large molecule. Large molecular drug cannot enter by such a simple diffusion process. Hence, take up by a process called endocytosis. Endocytosis is a cellular process which substance or drug are brought into the cell. Endocytosis divided into two types. First, pagocytosis. Second, phenocytosis. In pagocytosis, pago means eat. Pagocytosis takes or engulf large substance into the cell. In phenocytosis, pheno means drink. Phenocytosis takes in fluid and solute along with dissolved small molecule into the cell. Phenocytosis is divided into two types. First, fluid phase phenocytosis. Second, absorptive phenocytosis. In fluid phase phenocytosis, substance adhere to the cell surface site to get into the cell. In absorptive phenocytosis, substance bind to specific cell receptor site to get into the cell. In this image, we can see endocytosis process. The steps involved in the endocytosis are first the plasma membrane fold inwards forming a cavity that fills with extracellular fluid and molecules and next it forms the vesicle. Third, the internalized vesicle is then processed by the cell. Transport across the epithelial barrier. Oral, buccal, nasal, vaginal and rectal cavities are internally lined with one or more layers of epithelial cells. Various transport process to cross epithelial barrier lining are first simple diffusion, second carrier mediated transport, third endocytosis. In simple diffusion, molecule move from a region of high concentration to low concentration without need of energy. Similarly, in carrier mediated transport, the molecule moves from high concentration to low concentration but with the help of transport protein. Third, endocytosis. We have already discussed in detail about endocytosis in previous slide. Extravasation For a drug to exert its therapeutic effects, it must exit from the central circulation and interact with extravascular, extracellular or extravascular, intracellular target. This process of transvascular exchange is called extravasation. 
depending on the morphology and the continuity of the endothelium layer and the basement membrane blood capillaries are divided into continuous fenestrated sinusoidal we will discuss in detail about the continuous fenestrated and sinusoidal in next slide continuous capillary in continuous capillary epithelial cells are connected or linked between the tight junction continuous capillary are common and widely distributed in the body it allow only small molecule to pass second fenestrated capillary they have small pores this little hole increase the flow of substance from capillaries to organs fenestrated capillaries shows inter endothelial gaps of 20 to 80 nm at regular intervals third sinusoidal capillaries sinusoidal capillaries have large open pores having inter endothelial gaps of 150 nm lymphatic uptake following extra vasation drug molecules can either reabsorb into the blood stream directly by the post capillary inter endothelial cell pores or enter into the lymphatic system and return with the lymph to the blood circulation also drug administered by subcutaneous transdermal and peritoneal routes can reach the systemic circulation by the lymphatic system soluble macromolecules smaller than 30 nm can enter the lymphatic system whereas particulate materials larger than 50 nm are retained in interstitial sites and serve as sustained release depot the direct delivery of drugs into lymphatics have been proposed as a potential approach to kill malignant lymphoid cells located in lymph nodes thank you